my goodness. I can't believe he blew it. Do you think that's real? I mean, he tripped. What else do you want from him? I'm you just... think they staged him tripping? Yes. Oh. I'm on team stage. You so you think, you think that's legit? Yeah, maybe I am a pessimist. <laughs> right. But I look at that and I'm like, that's pro wrestling 101. That's totally staged. So you're saying this team real? I, I, I thought it was real and I thought okay. it was heartbreaking. Okay. And what does he win at the end? Like a free hot dog if he had won? Yeah, and apparently hot dogs uh, lower your life expectancy. Who we'll get to that, that in a little bit. We'll Thank you for it. joining us here on Sports Nation. <laughs> What's up? Roz, Arda with you. We got a lot to talk about, but you know what we're going to start with? We're gonna start. I love that line, miracles come to those who wait. And yeah. for athletes, like we've seen this across all sports, right? Like athletes that are revered and universally loved, not just by the fans, but their peers. Your confidence can absolutely break during that time, right? Like, uh, am, do I still got it? You know, am I elite? Or, you know, how do I get back to that flow state and zone? So it's not just like physically working on your body this is absolutely a feat of his mental toughness and endurance fortitude and resilience paying off it's a great story and i'm very happy for fino speaking of a great story you know what happened yesterday you will not believe this what? this is shocking brace yourselves okay bill belichick had a joke on mute your line. <laughs> Look at him. He's going to be on tour. <laughs> In a second, he's going to be opening for Chappelle or something. It's right, hilarious. Right, a regular comedian. I love it. You know what? When he smiled, it made me smile. I, I, I don't think I've seen that often. No, I don't think we've ever seen Bill Belichick smile. Yeah. Even winning Super Bowls, he's... It was a little uncomfortable, actually. I'm not going to go for it. <laughs> it's jarring. What is this? It's like, yeah, what's going on here? Why, is, why are his lips curling upwards? Right. That's weird. Oh, no. Oh. no, we're joking. <laughs> My own top five heading into this new upcoming season, and I'm starting at number five with the Heat. I think for the Heat, it's all about their potential. Is Jimmy Butler going to be aggressive all the time consistently? Is Bam going to take that next step forward? Will we see a version of Tyler Hero that's like the bubble hero? They did win that Kyle Lowry sweepstakes, and they did improve their rebounding, their defense, their uh, toughness with Markeith Morris and P.J. Tucker. Also, y'all, X Factor. They got Victor Oladipo back on a vet minimum. If he's healthy, this is an all-star caliber player that plays both sides of the court. All right, y'all, I'm going to go to my number four team, and it is the Los Angeles Lakers. And I know, I know, they are older in age. But it's still LeBron. It's still AD. It's still Russ. And this one is going with the Suns. This is a young team that was ahead of schedule last season. All that experience in the NBA Finals brings them back more confident, more hungry. I can't wait to see how Aiton builds on that breakout season or how Bridges keeps growing his two-way game. And it was huge that they re-signed both Chris Paul and Cameron Payne, especially if they manage Chris Paul's body throughout the season. And I think that Monty Williams is a great head coach and motivator and will find a way to turn that painful four losses in a row in the finals into something they can use in positive. Let's go to team number two. It's with the reigning champions. It's the Milwaukee Bucks at number two. And winning a championship, y'all, it just gives you so much more confidence into that next season. That big three can absolutely run it back. And I like George Hill coming in there to give more backup there to Drew Holiday. I also think, you know, had this team brought back P.J. Tucker, I would have had them at number one. I think that's a big lose. It's the Brooklyn Nets because when they're fully healthy, they just simply put, got the most talent. And now all that talent is going to have a full season to put it together, to actually practice writing to anyone else in the league. So that's what I got. That's my top five heading into the season. It even <laughs> exists. <laughs> Who asked for this? I, I mean, so if someone were to give me uh, a gift with my college coach from Stanford, Tara Vanderveer, her picture pa plastered all over it, I'd have a good chuckle. Yeah, but that, that's field. wrapping paper with the coach on. Like a player, maybe. Right. I only think it's weird. I think it's cool, especially if it's like your favorite player. Like like Allen Iverson wrapping paper would be really sure, cool. Sure, sure. I even think like Draymond Green wrapping paper yeah. could be really funny, especially if you gave the gift to like a LeBron James fan. Or okay. There's a line, and I don't know where Dabo Swinney fits on that line. It's only weird if like Dabo was giving out gifts of gifts wrapped in wrapping paper of himself. <laughs> That's where it gets weird. It totally happens. You know what I mean? If it's if it's somebody else, it's funny, it's cute, there's a story around it. But if you're giving out Arda, if you give me a gift wrapped in Arda uh -huh. gift wrap, I'm just going which, to possibly never open the gift. Which and now 100% is happening, happening, by the way. It's happening. It's a thing. <laughs> you A win. normal person. Are you one of the weirdos with the waffles, the waffle weirdos? <laughs> Are you a pancake patty? 
with us. Don't be a weirdo waffle person, <laughs> no, no, okay? No, 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 look, look, I don't judge. It's each their own. If you like waffles, you like waffles. I'm happy for you. We, uh, on set, however. I mean, shout out to Schialo, our producer. I, I can't and think not of, Angela. I can't I think of a better day at work than coming to the studio, talking sports, and eating pancakes. I know. <laughs> what a day. Now, do pancakes take minutes off of your life like hot dogs do? I hope not. Why are you asking all the hard <laughs> questions? You must be a secret waffle weirdo. I am not. No, no. <laughs> I, you, do not I accuse me of such things. You have revealed yourself. No. I know who he is. He's undercover. I'm, I'm a secret undercover waffle Guys, spy. I couldn't be happier. Right. This is the best day of work I've ever had. Going I've been to NBA Finals, championships. Never had pancakes at work, though. <laughs> well, it. now we have. Go enjoy a pancake today, everybody, on pancakes. National Waffle Day. Right. Stick it to the waffle crowd. Stick it have to the waffle day. community. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.